every bit counts challenge. I've had two days off um, while we took my mom back to the airport in New York. And I did can quite a few things the last week of July because I knew I was going to miss two days in August. So I'm counting them. <laughs> um, we have a lot of corn. Um, David and the kids and I went corn picking down to our farm farm. I think I videoed. There's going to be some video of that, of us picking the corn. Um, where we got our strawberries and blueberries and raspberries. So um, they're doing a lot this year. They're doing green beans, yellow beans, potatoes, corn down at that farm for you pick. I think they're seeing the writing on the wall for winter and that people might want to <laughs> put away some food. So I don't grow corn. It takes up a lot of space. I find the earwigs just infest it and I never have any luck with it. So we picked this. We got how many ears of corn did we end up getting? I think we got over 60. I'm trying to think. Hold on a second. Like 30 13, 13. Yeah, I think we end up getting around. F we picked five dozen plus a couple extra to make up for the ones that were rotten. So, and it all cost me $20, which is really good because I paid $8 for the dozen that was already picked that I already did. So, the only thing different I'm doing with this corn is I'm raw packing it. I'm not blanching it before I do it. So, this has not been cooked, not been heated up, anything. So, um, just to save myself a step, I really didn't need to do that, and I'm not going to do it. So, I'm just going to strip all these ears into this big silver bowl I have. And we'll get that done today. I'm also going to go out. I'm sure I've got yellow beans that need picking out in the garden. And, yeah, so... I have a busy couple of days planned. My house is also a wreck. <laughs> it's just upside down and sideways between the hall that we bought while we went to the States and the new puppy in the house. <laughs> so I'm I'm gonna be busy the next couple of weeks, but you know what? I like it that way. So and we're also gonna try and squeeze in a couple of fun things for these last couple of weeks of summer before Aiden heads back to school. So I'm just going to keep stripping this corn into this big bowl. You don't, I'm not going to record all of this. You've seen me do corn. I'm just going to raw pack it. So this is just going to, I've got water already boiled and it's just simmering over there on the stove. And I'm just going to pour hot water into each jar. Let's see how many pints I get. All shocked. I already took one big bucket out to the chickens. <laughs> There's another bucket. So that's a lot of corn. I can go back to watching YouTube later. You have to clean that air filter? Yes. Once it's been running for... You only got three seasons. You can finish this whole show in a day. So, corn's been steadily coming out of the pressure canner all day. I have another batch that's just cooling, and then I've got these six more cans to pressure can. But I went out to the garden. You don't go into the garden for a couple of days. Holy cow. So, yes, I did pick a lot of green tomatoes. Um, I want to get <laughs> some sauce started to get made. So, I made an executive decision and picked a bunch, and... <sighs> 
I wasn't going to, but I broke some of the branches trying to fix them because they've all fallen over. So you know what? That's someone saying, Lynn, pick the green tomatoes. So I'm just going to put them in this box here and get them to start ripening. Some of my indigo rose tomatoes, some of them are ready. Some of them are really close. And while I was checking them, they fell off in my hand. So they are going to, like that one's ready. Don't they look like plums? I can't wait to try one. Never had one. But some of them just need a little bit more. So we're going to go ahead and I'm going to put them in a brown paper bag. That one's ready. Ooh, that one's definitely ready. You can see. Doesn't they look like plums? But I promise you they're not. A couple little bell peppers that I'm just going to put in with the tomatoes to get them to start ripening a little bit more. But, oh, I got so many things. I got a bunch of beans. I even picked some squash, and I have to ask, I got some squash I didn't even plant. <laughs> so I think maybe my neighbors might be missing some. So I'm just gonna get these, the ones that are not quite ready, into this bag. And then I'm gonna put the big, I just got a brown paper bag here. I'm just gonna start putting those in there. And I'm gonna put these, some of them are starting to blush. I can see it, it's coming. I'm just gonna get these into the box. Get those put in. I also got, they're not quite, they aren't ready, these ground cherries. I, I mentioned this before, I'm not doing these again. <laughs> um, they all fell off in my hand when I was looking to see if any were. But my friend Mary Lynn from Little Homestead on the Beach told me that these can ripen on your counter. So I'm gonna leave these to ripen. I also got my, I won't say it's my very first quackamelon, but it's my first harvest. I got two. Now I got a handful. And I think there's more out there. Those took forever. There goes my hands popping. Oh, there's another one. And another nice big pepper. It's not quite red. Okay, so I got a pile of yellow beans. I picked my first Kirkneck squashes. Look at them. Three of those. Those I planted, my first year planting them. I have no idea what this is. I, I'm trying to remember. I didn't plant this. This was over in my, what I thought were pie pumpkins, turns out to be white pumpkins, um, patch. I don't know what this is. Um, pretty sure it's a squash, but it's a bumpy squash. So it fell right off into my hands when I went to see, I'm like, what is that yellow thing in my pumpkin patch? That can't be a pumpkin already. They're, you know, and this is what I saw. I also got three more calendula off of my um, one single seed challenge plant. So that's really producing this year. So I guess I know what I'm doing for the challenge tomorrow. I'm gonna can up a bunch of yellow beans, do something with these Kirkneck squashes. Look up what this squash is. By the time this is posted, I will know what this is. And when I edit, I will put it up here. <laughs> um, to, yeah, I didn't plant it. Did not plant it. But then again, I got four tomato plants out there I didn't plant. <laughs> So I'll get this last batch of corn and that will be it for day 16 of Every Bit Counts Challenge. Tomorrow is going to be a busy day for day 17. Day 17 of the Every Bit Counts Challenge and as you saw, I am going to get ready to blanch those yellow beans that I was snapping in the beginning. And I've got one of my Crookneck squashes here and I'm just hollowing out, here, let me show you. I want to save the seeds, so for next summer. So I'm just digging these out. a lot of seeds in one of these <laughs> and I'm gonna blanch this too just like the green beans and then I'm gonna freeze it okay my water is boiling I've got some yellow beans here and I'm gonna do some of these Oh, I got more seeds at this end of the squash, too. In the past, I've never blanched um, 
the squash um, when I have frozen it. But doing some research, um, says it's, it, you'll find the texture is better if you blanch it for just a minute, let it dry, and then freeze it. So that's one of the things I'm going to say I found about freezing it. It did seem to get kind of um, really mushy texture. So I'm going to go ahead and blanch it this year. So I got to get my cold water bath ready and my water's just about ready to boil. Okay, did a little bit of research. You don't have to take the skins off of yellow squash. They're completely edible. So I guess I'm just going to leave them. I'm going to do this squash in cubes. And then I think in the other squash, I might do slices. Like, I, I'm going to be honest, we've never ate this. This is one of those things we wanted to try because I know how good it is for you. So that's one of the reasons I wanted to grow it. And I know squash can be used interchangeably um, with pumpkin. Okay, first I just want to say this thing about multitasking is BS. <laughs> Excuse my language. There, to me, I've always said there's no such thing as multitasking, and there's not. Um, I just, I just don't believe it. While I was doing the squash, I don't know if I'm, I haven't even looked at the footage, but I'm sure it's going to be in the video. Um, I'm trying to do too many things. I've got too much on my mind. Trying to do too many things, and. I forgot that I had had the other burner on and I set my plastic bowl with the green beans down on the stove to blanch them next, forgetting that I'd had that burner on. It melted and I should mention if you're new here, my stove is less than a month old. Not only did I lose all my yellow beans, I lost all of them because I'm not going to trust it. It took me 45 minutes to get everything cleaned off my stove. Good news is I managed to get it all cleaned up. The stove seems fine. But boy, am I upset about that was like two cups of yellow beans gone in the trash. So I'm going to finish up with my squash. And um, I took some time out because I was so upset at myself. Just way, way too upset at myself. Just ridiculous that I'm just trying to do too much and not thinking. So I'm going to wash these up because they are they have a little bit of dirt. I'm going to cut them in slices. We're going to blanch them. The other ones are pretty much dry. Oh, no, they're still not dry, but we'll let these dry up, and we're going to vacuum seal these. Um, I also have, I'm going to finally, since I have nothing else to do today because I was going to do the beans and the squash, I've got herbs that have been drying for several weeks now, and I'm going to get them out of the doorway because we're going in and out of this doorway a lot because this is where the puppy uh, uses to go out back to do her business and the, the herbs keep falling because we keep hitting them so I'm going to get to them today so I'm going to wash these up and um, yeah get these blanched Okay, squash is blanched. The herbs, done. All right. Okay, let's let those dry.
boy, I can't wait for this day to be over. Nothing has gone right for me today. But I want to end this day 17. I did get a couple of things done. The squash ended up going in Ziploc bags. Long story, it ended up going in Ziploc bags. Um, and I did get quite a bit. So chocolate mint, sage, cinnamon basil, dill, and rosemary. I got them all. Uh, they were all hanging over here and over there. So at least they're out. There's still some hanging. They're not quite done. I just picked them not too long ago. So they're, they're not dried out yet. So that will be it for day 17. Let's hope day 18 goes a lot better than today. Day 18 of Every Bit Counts Challenge. It's quite late in the day. It's been a very busy day. Um, things are a little, a little crazy here still with the roof and the siding still being done. And add the new puppy to the mix and it's, it's busy. But I am determined to try to still do something every day. So I've had these frozen cran, well they're not frozen now, but these cranberries and this pineapple in my freezer for too long. So I'm gonna make cranberry juice pineapple juice and get it I just realized I forgot to turn on my <laughs> um, canner and get it canned up for the day and that's something um, I have a busy day planned tomorrow I'm hoping 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 oh, to get what I want done tomorrow sorry I realized I forgot lids and rings oh no I have a bunch of rings there so okay so I'm just raw packing these. I just spoiled my water. Gets two bags out of my freezers. And the jars are hot. I just took them out of the stove, um, oven. And yeah, I'm just gonna get, the, get these bags out of my freezer. And gives us some yummy, I'm the only one who drinks. <laughs> cranberry juice so it's not like we need a ton of it um, I do plan on making more but it's better than them just sitting in there and taking up space so we need to get the air bubbles out of them Lovely. And it's already starting to turn pretty red. Okay. While I wait for honey a little bit more water to top off the pineapple, I saved um, my seeds. These are just coffee filters. We don't drink coffee in this house. I get these from our dollar store. I paid $1.25 for them. It's a hundred of them. Um, I usually don't have to buy more than one package a season. Um, and I just put them on here. And what I like is I can write what is on here, um, right on here with a, ma with a magic marker. And I'll let them dry out, and then once they're all dry and all that, I um, just put them in my little brown envelopes that I save my seeds in. And that's it. And seed saving does count as every little bit counts. Because the more we save from our produce, the less we have to buy. So, okay. So I'm going to get these into the canner 20 minutes for this size jar. And yeah, that will be the end of 
day 18. And I think that will be the end of these few videos. Um, so I can get this edited and put on for you as soon as possible. I'm doing my best not to get far behind with this challenge. So I hope you like this video. If you do, give me a thumbs up. Um, and if you haven't already subscribed, please consider subscribing. And also, so until then, folks, take care, God bless, and keep preserving. <laughs>